Hi and welcome to the Demalak Cookery Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make restaurant quality onion barges and the spice blend from the Demalak range we're going to be using today is the curry mixed powder. Now if you're watching this and you're not a customer of Demalak then what you guys will need is one tablespoon of ground coriander half a tablespoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, and quarter of a teaspoon of chili powder. Now that won't get you a mixed powder, but it will give you the basis for a really nice uh, onion bhaji. As usual, a full list of ingredients are given at the end of the video. So let's have a look at those ingredients and anything else we're going to need for today's recipe. So before we actually go into the ingredients, I just want to explain a little bit about this recipe. So about two years ago, through the Spices Company, I was able to go into four Indian restaurants with a specific task of looking at how they made onion barges. And this recipe is actually all of the common features from those four restaurants put into the one recipe. So before that, I was doing a few things wrong. One of them was through looking at videos and, and recipes, I was actually producing a batter to make onion barges. None of the four restaurants that I visited two years ago used a batter at all. They all use a, a dry flour mix, which is what you're going to see today. The second thing is I used to double fry the uh, onion barges. None of the four restaurants do that. And I think double frying is a consequence of using uh, a batter mix because it's quite a solid gooey mixture. So to double fry, to try and cook the inside of the barge, but when you're using a dry flour mix, you don't have to do that. What did surprise me though, is only one of the four restaurants used gram flour. I used to use gram flour, but because I, I was cooking Indian food infrequently, the gram flour always used to go out of date. Three of the restaurants use plain flour or all purpose flour. So that's what we're going to use today. By all means, if you want to use gram flour, use gram flour, but people watching this, they may not have uh, easy access to that. One of the restaurants used dry, um, fresh coriander leaf chopped the other three didn't i haven't included that in this recipe but by all means you, you can you can actually use that so that's just a little bit of a, an explanation into this particular recipe so let's have a look at the ingredients we're going to need for today so for today we're going to need 450 grams of sliced white onion Take your time when you're slicing the onion, try and get the slices as even as possible and uh, also no large lumps in there. That equates, 450 grams equates to about three medium sized onions or 500 grams of onion in this state before it's peeled and sliced. One tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. One medium sized free range egg which has been beaten. One tablespoon of fenugreek or methi leaves, half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of damalat curry mix powder, that equates to about 20 grams, and 200 grams of plain or all purpose flour. By all means, use um, gram flour if you've got access to it. So, the first thing we want to do is mix all of the dry ingredients together. Unless you're doing a dish where the dry ingredients go into the cooking process at different stages, mix all of the dry ingredients together first because that will give you a much better even distribution um, through the dish itself. So that's all of the dry ingredients mixed in uh, thoroughly. The next thing we want to do is actually make the onion barges. So we've got two large bowls here. Okay, so one of them is going to be used obviously as the mixing bowl, but we've got some clean water in this bowl. And this is a technique to make sure that you, your hands stay fairly free from the actual mixture itself. I'll show you what I mean. So we place all of the onion into the bowl. First thing to go in is the egg and the 
ginger and garlic paste. And we just want to mix that in. So try mixing this in without actually crushing the onion itself. We don't want to damage the onion any more than we have done when we, when we cut them. So now the egg and the ginger and garlic paste are all mixed in and we've worked to try and break up as much of the onion as possible. The next thing to do is add our flour mix. So if we sprinkle that over the top, and then what I'm going to do here is just place my hand into the water. Try not to get too much water into the mix. But as I mix this up, using that water, and we'll do the same technique when we actually make the onion barges themselves. Using this water will just reduce the amount of flour that we get stuck to our hands. Okay, so that's the flour mixed into the onions. As you can see, using that uh, bowl of water technique, got very little of the flour actually uh, residue on, on my hands. The next thing we need to do is we're going to wash our hands first and then prep the oil in a deep fat fryer. So that's going to be heated to 160 degrees centigrade. We're then going to form the onion barges. I'll show you how to do that and then we'll fry them off. So the oil's coming up to temperature now, 160 degrees centigrade. I uh, just want to show you the technique for actually forming the um, onion barges. I've got a timer here. So the total frying time is six minutes, but we're going to turn the actual onion barges after three minutes. So that's what the timer's for. So once the timer goes off, we'll then obviously turn the onion barges and then cook them again for another uh, three minutes. So same technique as before when we were actually mixing the flour in. So wet your hand. And we want a fairly loose ball, something like that. Don't compact it too much, you'll just get a solid block. So in this size of uh, basket, this fryer, we're going to be doing three at a time. Again, fairly loose. Just enough pressure to hold it together. So that's three minutes. Turn these over now. Just be careful, obviously, dealing with hot oil. And start the timer again. So that's when your barge is cooked. Again, total cooking time, six minutes. Just going to transfer these now into a uh, bowl which has some kitchen paper and absorbent kitchen paper in the bottom and then carry on uh, cooking the rest in batches. So I'm serving the onion barges as a starter to the main meal. So I've got two onion barges, a couple of pieces of sliced lemon, some tomato, cucumber, and some mint yogurt sauce. And the way I make that is just some natural yogurt and a little bit of uh, mint sauce added. And that makes a perfect starter for a, an Indian meal. 
Restaurant quality onion barges, they are cool enough for me to handle now, so I just want to show you one. So that's it, loose structure, so again, it's very important that you don't compact the, uh, the mixture too much before they go into the fryer. Crunch on the outside, hear that crunch. Soft on the inside, the actual onion itself is translucent, so you know it's cooked all the way through. And absolutely gorgeous. So please subscribe to the channel, and if you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Thanks very much for watching.